Okay, I'm starting a new feature with this YouTube channel called Painting of the Week. And the Painting of the Week now is <clears throat> this one here called Pope Makes Love to Lady Mary Wortley Montague. Back in those days, Pope lived in the early 1700s. He was like the greatest poet in England. To make love meant to profess one's love. And by Pope, we mean Alexander Pope, the great poet. And he was sort of the teacher of this lady, uh, Lady Mary Montague. And she was a very good poet, but he was like the best poet. And she was married, and he knew that she was married, yet he still asked her out, like for a date, and she just laughed in her face and couldn't control herself. Um, after that, you can see he's got a clenched fist. He was so dejected and upset about it, he hated her, and he would write nasty poems about her. That actually made her more famous, probably helped her career. So anyways, <clears throat> why do I think this is especially funny? First of all, it's a magnificent painting, and there's there's like jokes in the painting. The two statues are kissing almost as if to make fun of Alexander Pope here even more. Um, the painter here is William Frith. But what I also find amusing is this painting reminded me of an experience I had. I was a senior at Stanford. I was living in the athlete fraternity. You know, I was captain of the wrestling team, uh, student athlete of the year for wrestling, school record holder in my sport for a couple things. And... Um, team captain and, and so I was in the newspaper plenty of times for victories in wrestling and so basically you know in high school being a good athlete you're a bit of a celebrity it's easy to get a girlfriend okay but in college at Stanford is like the worst place in the world for for women nine out of ten California girls are pretty and the tenth one goes to Stanford like if a woman was a six in looks she'd be a ten a perfect ten at Stanford that's what it was like and the average guy is pretty athletic and pretty bright and so there's tons of guys for every girl in a sense is how it was um i never had a girlfriend once not even once in my four years at stanford you know i had friends that go to other schools and there's like they're having more girlfriends than ever in um in the college age okay so what happened was my senior year i had i decided on a whim to take this economics class it was taught by boskin he was sort of the economist i think for reagan so he's a pretty famous guy, but man, his class sucked. It was so easy. Supply and demand, I thought it was a joke. I didn't want to wake up early in the morning for class. It was a joke. And I knew I could get an A in it without having to show up. So this girl was having trouble in the class, so I made a deal with her. I said, you know, I'll, I'll help you with the homework and explain everything to you. If you just, you know, go to class, bring me the assignments and notes and tell me what's going on with the class. And so we had a deal. And then at the end of the quarter, and I got an A in the class, at the end of the quarter, I asked her out. And she just politely laughed in my face. And I could tell what was happening was she had so much attention from guys. It was She didn't even say she had a boyfriend. That would have been more understandable. She just laughed and politely, you know, deflected me. And I was like, oh, God, how low have I sunk? I can't even get a date with this girl. That's what it was like going to Stanford. That was what it was like for lots of athletes, guys that were, you know, these all-state athletes, you know, really good athletes. So anyways... I thought that was kind of funny.